Hi, everyone, and welcome. Hi. I've actually never used a microphone and a mask at the same time before, so just let me know if you can't hear me. I'll move it around or something. Um, do we have like a clicker or somebody that can press the next button on my slides? Yay, thank you. It's right there. Yeah, you should just be able to go ahead and try it and see if it, okay, sweet. Can you go back? <laughs> should we make up a secret hand signal? <laughs> um, there will be a video, but it'll play automatically. So don't worry about having to play that. Hi, everyone. I'm Kaylin Jack, and I was part of a first team back in high school. I was on a team for three years. Uh, we used a variety of different CAD softwares. First, I want to just see a raise of, like, show of hands. Do you guys all know what a CAD software is? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, First Robotics is super great because it got me into, like, designing, and I just, I knew I wanted to design when I grew up. And as I designed more and more and got internships, I found that I just, I loved SolidWorks, and I loved working with SolidWorks. And so I decided I wanted to do that for a living. So I really like what FIRST Robotics does for teams and for students and helping them get set up with careers for the future. So I wanted to come back and kind of give back and let you guys know how you can get some free SOLIDWORKS. How many teams are currently using SOLIDWORKS? OK, sweet. I had a team come up to me at a competition, and they said, it was a few weeks ago, they said, I would use SOLIDWORKS if I could get it for free. And I'm like, I have great news for you. We love giving SOLIDWORKS to teams for free. So I'll have a couple links in here if you guys don't have SOLIDWORKS already for you to write down. But I'm also here to talk about our cloud-based solution, so we'll get into that as well. This presentation is pretty short, just like 10 or 15 minutes, and then you guys can ask as many questions as you want. And I also brought business cards, so stop by when you're leaving and I'll give you a business card. You can always reach out to me over email or phone too. So that's me, I'm Kaylin. Maria, unfortunately, couldn't make it this time, but she helped me prepare the slides, so she's here in spirit. Okay, go ahead and click next. So for those of you who don't know, SOLIDWORKS is a CAD software, um, and you can use it to design your robot. Probably already knew that, but that's the link at the very bottom for sponsorship, so you can write it down or take a picture of it. Um, many people think that like you can just use it to design your robot, but I also wanted to mention that you can use it to actually test your robot. You can do simulation analysis on it and see if your robot is going to hold up in the rigors of competition. Because I know it can get pretty rough out there, especially <laughs> like when your robot's swinging around like crazy, right? I'm not going to read through this whole list, but one other thing that you should know is that we do offer flow simulation, so if there's ever a water game, you'll be prepared. Go ahead and click next. A lot of teams nowadays I'm finding too like to use uh, softwares like Onshape because it's cloud-based. You can collaborate on the cloud. We do have a cloud-based solution as well. It's called the 3D Experience Platform. Has anyone ever heard of that before? OK, one person, sweet. <laughs> so I'm glad I'm here to tell you about it. But it's basically a series of apps. Just like you have apps on your phone, it's apps online. So you can go to this 3D Experience Platform. That's the link for sponsorship to get it for free. And you can access all six of these different apps that I have listed here. So you have the X-Design app, which is most similar to SOLIDWORKS and the design softwares you're used to using. But then you also have X-Shape, which is really good for like organic designs and aerodynamic designs, like that helmet that you see. Um, and then there's X-Sheet Metal for the teams that like to design their own brackets. And of course, you can also design brackets in X-Design. But if you're like trying to bend the bracket, it might work out a little bit better in X-Sheet Metal. And then we have X-Mold, X-Frame, and X-Define, which is really good for like getting in your tolerances. So make sure you get a picture of that if you haven't already, or write down that link, and you can get it for free. It's 100% online cloud CAD, and you can do parts and assemblies in it as well. And the really great thing, too, is that sometimes schools will just provide Chromebooks to their students. It works on Chromebooks. So go ahead and click Next. The other neat thing is that it works really well with SOLIDWORKS. So if you already have SOLIDWORKS, but you're thinking about trying it out, you totally can. It'll work together. It uses what's called SOLIDWORKS Connected to allow you to open parts from the cloud experience without having to download them from the cloud. You can open them directly in SOLIDWORKS. So that's what that's showing. That is what that is showing there. But then you also have real-time collaboration. So think of like Google Documents, where you can all work on the same document at once. Same thing with designing. And then you also get a little bit of PLM. Sorry, I did the hand movement, but I wasn't ready. <laughs> um, you also have a little bit of experience with PLM, product lifecycle management, 
which is great. Like employers love to see that because that's so important in the real world. Like how many times has it happened to you that you were working on a part and then you found out that you had a, a teammate that was also working on that same part and now you're not which, sure what part to use, right? So this makes sure that you have to like check out the document, then you work on it and then you check it back in so you always know what revision is the latest revision, right? So here's a quick video of kind of taking a look at what the platform looks like. So we have those three different columns where you can keep track of like what needs to be done, what's in progress, and what is done. And you can assign those tasks to people. So that task management is really great, especially since you guys are always like in a time crunch, right? So, and then here's it showing how you can bring in the 3D experience platform parts directly into SolidWorks. You're just clicking and dragging it in. No downloading necessary. And then here we're demonstrating how you check in documents. So you're saying this is a new release, I'm releasing it to everybody else. You can add in a comment so that everyone else knows what it is that you're doing. And this is just kind of a preview of what the community looks like as well. So you can see that you can document your design and share it with other people. So, yep, please. So here's another screenshot of what the community looks like. And the community can be just your team, it could be just a sub team, or it can be everyone that uses the 3D experience. And the cool thing about it is that there's a community for FRC already set up. So we can see here that we have a post from somebody sharing the kit of parts. That way you can go ahead and just download it and have it available to you right there on the platform. Next. So I mentioned that you can make parts and you can make an assemblies in this 3D experience platform. But coming this summer, you'll also be able to make 2D drawings. So like I said before, like it works on all sorts of different devices. You can do it on iPads as well. So maybe like your machining team has a tablet and you want to send over the part to the machining team, they can open it right there on their tablet. You don't have to go through the process of making a drawing if you don't want to. But we took feedback from teams and we decided to make this an option just in case this is what you're used to and this is what you want to do. So that'll be coming this summer. Definitely check out that link. You know, you can get it totally set up during the summer and be using it by next season. So your question might be, how do I learn how to use this new platform? Like it is relatively new, especially compared to SolidWorks, which has been around for like dozens of years now. <laughs> we do have the learning library. So that's built into the platform. So once you get set up on the platform, just look for this learning library. It'll be under the learn tab. And you can go through all these different modules to learn all about this different platform and the, like the capabilities of it too. Like a, a tool is only as good as how you know how to use it, right? Okay, go ahead and click next. So this is how you sign up, it's super easy. I know it, when you hear sponsorship, you get kind of scared, like I'm gonna apply and I don't know if I'm gonna get it. Well, you will get it. Like we give this to every single team that applies. And to do it, you just have a mentor, go to that link or the link that I showed you before. Make sure you select the see more next to the first robotics team. And then make sure you select that you're a group because you are a group, you're a team. And then your mentor just fills out this form with your email addresses and that is what connects all the users together so that everybody is working together on that one platform. Go ahead and click next. Oh, and the team members will get a link in their email they sign up for an account, and then the apps are right there, ready to use. Yep. So that concludes the presentation. I know it was really short. Definitely ask me any questions that you have about this. And we also have a booth in the Innovation Fair, so stop by and chat with us there too. Thank you all. You guys have a great rest of your competition if you don't have any other questions. Yes. I'm sorry. For an X carve? For like for milling and machining? Yes. Yeah. So I would export the file as a step and you, and do it that way. Yep. You can absolutely do. Yes. Oh, absolutely. That's a great question. 
So I've, I've been telling teams that have been coming up to our booth today too that there's no harm in using multiple softwares. Like obviously I'm a little biased because I work for SolidWorks, right? But um, definitely you can totally do that. We have um, like a feature that helps you to import parts. So it might be a little tricky at first, but you'll get the hang of it. It's just you have to go to a particular setting and then you can import the part into Fusion. What I would recommend is maybe using it for the summer and checking it out during the summer and getting a feel for it before the build season actually starts. Yes. Oh, the link? Yeah, would you mind going back a few slides? Yeah, one more. Yep, there it is. That, that's for the platform link. Sorry, that's for the platform link. No, it's there, you got it. It's this one right here. So that's the link for the free platform. And then if you want the link for the free SolidWorks, um, just stop by the booth that we have in the Innovation Fair and I'll give it to you again. Any other questions? All right, I'll be hanging out in the back for a couple minutes if you do have any more questions. And otherwise, come see me in the Innovation Fair and have a great rest of your competition.